So I'm here at EGX 2016. That sounded really weird. I'm going to start that again. <laughs> So I'm here at EGX 2016. Uh, I've just had a chance to have a go at Far From Noise. I'm here with George Batchelor, who made everything apart from music. Yes. Um, give us a little intro. What is Far From Noise? Where did it kind of come from? And, and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's kind of a narrative game where your player is a young woman who's trapped on the edge of a cliff, stuck in a car that's kind of balancing on the edge. And all you can do is talk. So you can kind of talk to yourself, try and rationalize the situation panic if, if, you, if you feel like it or see if you can get out but then eventually kind of this deer walks in and you're sort of like freaking out a little bit this deer's gonna come and like push you off the cliff but you sort of get into this strange conversation mm. and then kind of go into a bit more in depth about like why you came out there in the first place you know who the deer is you find out more about yourself and if you're gonna make it out basically. So what were the inspirations behind it? I mean, how did you come up with a game about a girl in a car on the edge of a cliff and then a deer walks up and starts talking to her? Like, what are the yeah. inspirations, what, you know, the, the themes being explored, what kind of made you go down that path, so to speak? Yeah, so originally I, I kind of just thought I wanted to make something where you were stuck in a situation where all you could do is talk. I thought the car on the edge of a cliff is kind of like good imagery and stuff like that. So like that was always the case. Then originally there was going to be a, another person and then it would be kind of more like an adventure game and you'd have to like figure out puzzles of different ways yeah. that you could get off the cliff but the bits that I like most of that were the dialogue and then so I kind of just went more further down into just just doing it about the dialogue and then the character of the deer kind of changed into more of like a philosopher so he says a lot of this like philosophical stuff that's sort of inspired by like John Muir and Ralph Waldo Emerson all these like transcendentalist philosophers about nature so a lot of the theme of the game is about nature and like knowing your relationship with your environment and things like that there's some other themes and stuff but well, i mean I, was, I said just before we start recording that there's a part in the demo where uh the aspect ratio crushes down to oh, yeah, really, really eyes, thin yeah. and then it reopens again and i asked if the sunset changed and you can say it didn't but i felt like it had but do you, is that the kind of experience that you're getting for most people playing it that it's actually following the themes that the, the, the yeah, deer exactly. speaking you through that you kind of are opening your eyes again. Yeah, he's kind of like, just look look where you are. Like, even though you're stuck in this situation, take in what's around you and like, you know, maybe you've got, maybe it's like a beneficial situation where you're, you're stuck, but you can got a chance to look around you. So, I mean, where does, without going into too much detail, where does the story progress from here? Does it move on much further or is it more about that kind of relationship between you and yourself on that cliff. It seems like it's a very personal, personal yeah. kind of character, personal for you kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It, it, the story kind of changes as like the sun sets and it, it turns into night. Um, and there's kind of like stars come out and there's, there's, a, there's a bunch of like different sort of things that happen, mm. like events that happen, like with different characters and creatures and stuff that come in. Um, and sort of that changes each time you play it. I don't, I don't really want there to be a right way and a wrong way to yeah. play it, if you know what I mean. It's kind of like just however you felt like you wanted to play it, the ending will kind of reflect that. Yeah. Um, it's quite it's quite a difficult game to sum up, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, it is. I mean, it must be a challenge for you going forward, because for me, it's like you see it on a one-dimensional level and you're sat there and you're, like, you're clicking the answer, you're yeah. playing through and selecting your answers, but you really relax into yeah. it and you kind of start to relax into the situation. Um, yeah. Is that something that you found came, obviously you said originally an adventure game, is that something you found came quite naturally as, as a development progressed? Or yeah. is that something that you started approaching when you changed that angle? Well, I really wanted it to feel like more of a natural conversation, like a train of thought that you were just constantly, rather than just like dialogue option A or B, that were like, it was more just like a train of thought and like a stream of consciousness that mm. changes and flows more dynamically so that kind of I kind of wanted it all to feel quite easy and like you're not really thinking about the interface or how you're yeah. choosing it you're just sort of choosing whatever feels right or whatever you want to, you want to do so um, when can we expect maybe a finished product any particular platform it's coming to when, when yes. do you look forward to playing it and how it's on Steam Greenlight now okay. um, so vote now <laughs> um, but yeah it's, it's kind of it's almost done this is just a, a little bit of it there's a lot more to see um, I'm just kind of finishing a lot of the writing and stuff like that but most of it's done yeah. probably 
mm, couple of months, two yeah. months. End of the year, early next year. Maybe. Yeah, it'll be it'll be 2016. It'll be it'll be this year, but no set date yet. But it, you know, okay, it's, well, it's I look forward to it. Thanks for talking to us. Cool, thanks Thank a lot, you. man. I'm here at EGX 2016. I've just had a cut to have a. We're here at EGX 2016. Oh, Table <laughs> Orbit is the name of the game that we're about to do. I think. I'm, I'm flagging now. <laughs> so I'm here at EGX 2016. That sounded really weird. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mitch. Mitch. Cool. Good. I would have said Mark and I would have been wrong. <laughs> so that's good.